respected Chief Guest Dr. Sahil and Ms. Sahil and Professor Ms. Mishra and my colleagues and all my friends with whom I really had good time all these 15 days. Uh, it's I am I'm very glad to be here. Before coming here, I was really very apprehensive about coming here. I was all the time thinking whether should I go, should I not go, should I go, should I not go. Because Delhi was new to me and I had not heard about this course and how will be the course, etc. But uh, before coming here, my knowledge, I used to do laparoscopy, but only basic laparoscopy. My knowledge, if you put on the scale, it was less than 10%. And after attending this course, I, I can, I swear, I was doing it very dangerously. I was a very dangerous laparoscopic surgeon because I was doing it seeing others too. Actually, basically, I am a professor and unit head in a medical college. So I had to do some laparoscopic work. But I learned see, uh, seeing others doing, not even assisting, seeing others doing, I started doing and now I realize how dangerous way I was doing. Uh, thank God there was no uh, harm to any of the patients. But uh, uh, here, unlike open surgery, we cannot learn by assisting or seeing others do. I have realized it, it's 100%. And uh, uh, Dr. Mishra has taught us all the basics every minutest details and all the, how to do laparoscopy safely basically i think every person who is uh, doing laparoscopy should undergo training under dr mishra to do laparoscopy safely and uh, when uh, he's not only a great teacher a great laparoscopic surgeon he is also a human being par excellence mm -hmm. every We used to ask very silly questions and any time we used to interrupt him during his lecture but patiently he answered all our questions any time of the day. Even I am also a teacher but I no way stand in his I am very, he is a teacher par excellence also. So I am very grateful that I got an idea to come to World Laparoscopy Hospital. I thank God that I got this opportunity to be here and learn all the things. Thank you sir. Thank you. Dr. Vishwaprakash. I am a plastic surgeon and working in one of the various departments of plastic surgery, that is Sabdajan Hospital. Uh, I am unit head over there and I am one person who is odd man out. I am not a surgeon or gynecologist ever. Uh, plastic surgeons are late entrant in this field of endoscopic surgery and there are many things which can be done. Not only the conventional endoscopic surgery like reduction of the plastic, we can do many other things like uh, any other reconstruction and many other things. With this aim, we have come to this course. I was not sure whether I will get something or not, but definitely this course has helped me a lot, so much that I already enrolled for the diploma course. Though I, I don't know in future uh, how much it will help, but definitely <coughs> this course for visual persons is not only helpful, but for those specialties also it is helpful, uh, which are the late and red -like classes. Thank you very much for uh, very good training which we have done. Thank you. But to be honest, uh, what we learned and what we used to do is just from our senior consultant's experience, not more than that. I came here to learn the basics of laparoscopy. And I'm really thankful for this very helpful course. And as my uh, colleague said, someone might have the knowledge but might not be able to teach. So thanks for uh, your patience and your time. And you are an excellent teacher. Thank you.
Good evening everyone. I am Dr. Ritu Petkar. I am I am a gynecologist, obstetrician and gynecologist. I have done my DNB. I am from Mumbai, India and uh, uh, review about this place of sir really likes to know it it was a very dicey state that uh, we were always surfing on. I think that would be with everyone who has come here that uh, where to go, where to learn laparoscopy and we all had these questions in my in our mind when we came here. But sir, uh, we are extremely thankful to you that it was a very, very, very good training program and uh, even the basic things that you have taught us about laparoscopy will definitely help us in the future. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I am Dr. Biula Rukhavadna and a general surgeon coming from Chennai. Uh, as far as laparoscopy is concerned, I am a beginner. As far as open surgery is concerned, I am just a little more than that. So I came here looking forward to learn laparoscopy from scratch, <coughs> from the principles, because it's better to learn than to learn and unlearn. So I think it's a very good start for me to start the principles of surgery. I think I had uh, the last two weeks has been very good in that way. Looking forward to learning more in the next two weeks. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Jayapriya. I come from Chennai. I'm a general surgeon. Um, I already practice laparoscopy for the past three years. Uh, I work in a private hospital that does laparoscopy day in and day out. However, I've learned it from my seniors, my consulting surgeons, who have been doing laparoscopy for quite some time. But the I always uh, used to think that I don't know the basics. I mean, that was, we, we couldn't read up these basics in textbooks. Uh, in all the laparoscopic, con I've attended quite a few laparoscopic conferences uh, thinking that I learned basics there and there. Uh, all the advanced procedures will be discussed. And, you know, the, the technical skills of the surgeons will be appreciated. But no, nowhere did I uh, find a place where you know, I could really learn the basics of lab. And actually, the same like what I do with this, I was going through the internet and checking, okay, which place will I train? And I found a place in New York. Then it's quite expensive to travel all the way to the US. And then I need a US MLE, then I have to take step one, two, three, get a visa. I don't know very well, get a visa. Then I came to this uh, World Lab Hospital website. And then I find the course, that they had the entire course content for all the Every day it's jotted up from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, every every hour the course curriculum was very interesting. <coughs> I couldn't find any textbooks, so I thought I should should come here. And I'm so lucky that the month I come here for training, uh, they bought a robot. I'm really excited because I thought robot is something very advanced, maybe in foreign countries. It's never going to come to India. If it comes to India, maybe I thought maybe next 20 years down the line, maybe I'll be able to see something. I'm really excited that I'm so happy and glad that I came here. Regarding the review of the course, um, I'm a diploma candidate, so it's only been two weeks now. And the basics, all the intricacies is thoroughly uh, taught in this course. I'm very glad to learn all that. And all I wish is, uh, I wish this uh, this content should be taught to postgraduates in general surgery. I, I sincerely wish. This one month of training, I wish uh, medical colleges, hospitals will send their PGs down here to train this one month. It's very important because a general surgeon in this era, in this era, can't do without knowing laparoscopy. So I think this is very important. I sincerely uh, thank and appreciate uh, Dr. Mishra. I mean, uh, we are all indebted to you, Minister for Life, for learning the basics of lap surgery, and I really appreciate. It. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sirs. My name is Dr. Shubandi Adekunle. I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist from Nigeria. Um, I was just looking for a place where I could learn the basics of uh, the uh, modern uh, minimal invasive surgery. I just saw from the internet, I uh, found uh, the World Laparoscopy Hospital. And I asked a few friends around. Unfortunately, none of them uh, in Lagos. Uh, I've come to this course. So I just thought, looking through the program, I'll give it a try. And I have to say that I've been very, very impressed with the content of the course and the way our teacher, uh, Professor Mizra, has taken us through. He's, he was, he's been very, very patient with everybody, even to the extent that, you know, some teachers will just get irritated 
but he was never, never irritated. He was very patient, and to the extent to, of explaining to the minutest details whatever anybody wanted to know. So I would recommend this course for anybody when I get back home. My suggestion, because I don't know he's a workaholic. I don't know how he copes. He's just working through and through. I don't know whether he would uh, seek for somebody to help him sometime, you know, so that he will, because we want, we want him to continue and to continue. So that will just be him really a little help. Thank you very much for everything. Good evening to everybody. Respected Dr. Sahi, Madam Sahi, Dr. R.K. Madam Mishra, our Indian colleagues, and our and coordinator, Mr. Ranjan. It was a golden time for us. We are here and we are lucky to attend and participate in this laparoscopic training under Dr. R. K. I am already a laparoscopic surgeon. I am already doing cholecystectomy. I have done cholecystectomy and appendicectomy. Along with many of numbers of laparoscopic tubectomy also. I am posted at District Hospital Bayagar Chhattisgarh as a surgical specialist. I have seen one CD of Dr. R.K. Misra presented by one. Ever medical medical representative. Since that time, I was hard higher in income. I am here, and I am lucky that I have received very much appreciable and genius knowledge Dr. R. Mitra has presented to us. He has distributed, he has gifted and he has shared his knowledge to us, to our surgeons who will be beneficial fruitful and teacher also. I thanks, heartily thanks to our and Madam Misra, God bless him. Thank you. Good evening everyone. I'm Dr. Steven Lopatri from Kenya. Thank you. Please also to do the presentations for some colleagues in my public. And I would say that I don't have any regrets of having come. Uh, I would really like to give the basic knowledge of laparoscopy that was really missing. Uh, I'm to do some laparoscopy procedures, but just as like you say, you just you are not put to the pig, you are put to the human, and it was quite challenging. I feel that I should have a lot of knowledge, and I think I'll go and recommend others to come. Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. I am Dr. Ahmed Tahir. I am in the German Surgery of Egypt and Marseilles, England. And I am, prior speaking, I am working in Egypt in one of the very well equipped hospitals. Uh, belonging to our National Defense Hospital series. Nowadays, I'm working in Oman, our, my second country, which I appreciate it very much, and I invite you all to visit. Uh, actually, I have been advised by my HUD, uh, laparoscopic well uh, 
de experiência do professor de museu em Alemanha e do Dr. Mansur Dor, que é Indian from Kashmir, que advised me to come to this nice course. Uh, anyway, I, I would like very much to express my deep appreciation to uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Dr. R.K. Dr. R.K. Mishra uh, for his very humble personality and for his extreme uh, cuteness and uh, actually uh, his knowledge uh, has been uh, covered all, most of all the, uh, uh, the ideas in laparoscopic surgery. Uh, anyway, whenever we ask him any question, he is uh, gently answering us uh, in a very good manner. And we actually we have uh, been taking his advice for many points. Uh, thank you, thank him very much for his uh, personality again. And uh, I would like only to change one of his uh, nice uh, rules in the story from uh, look, look and uh, <laughs> to look, look and look, to look, look and look. I will book another. <laughs> And thank you very much for awarding these uh, curtain uh, persons, including uh, Mr. Ranjal, all and ten our driver. Uh, and for this nice time I'm spending in India, I would like to come back in Java again in the new time. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very from Calcutta, I am a gynecologist and I have no experience about this subject before, but I have came here and I have been to know here from uh, the IMA journal, Indian Medical Association journal, and I am very interested and my son also very interested about this subject and he has insisted me to come here <coughs> and uh, to learn many things from here. And I have a very good experience and I have learned something, but as I am aged, so it is a it is very difficult for me to cope with the subject and I have received many uh, cordial help from the colleague and also from Dr. Mistro. So I am very thankful to him and I am also thankful to our colleagues. And that is all. Thank you. I'm Dr. Geeta Chaurasia from Chhatarpur, Madhya Pradesh, senior Khajuraho. And I'm gynecologist at District Hospital Chhatarpur. And I'm doing LTT, LTT over, only LTT. That means in camps. Previously, I was every time afraid of putting trocar. Just I learned by seeing adults. Now I've learned all the basics. Thank you, Dr. Chaurasia. When I go back from here, then I'll be bold enough to go there. <laughs> and one thing, don't, don't pull the tail, otherwise we'll go to jail. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening to everyone. I am Dr. Rajin Chaurasia, working as surgical specialist at District Hospital Chhatrapur near Khajra. I am here, so I am basically doing open surgery there. Now, from my place that is nearer to Chasi, people are going for laparoscopic surgery to Chasi around 200 km. So, we, husband and wife, both thinks that uh, we should start here at District Hospital Chandrapur because there are two uh, more surgeons are uh, working with me. They are not doing any type of, uh, they are doing only uh, LTT. They are surgeons, they are not doing laparoscopic for the sister Tommy or sister Tommy. So we think, we plan, we will go to World Laparoscopic Centre and we will learn the techniques of laparoscopy and basic anatomy. Here we find a very good atmosphere in this world of laparoscopy hospital that uh, we had cleared all the basic fundamentals of laparoscopy here. Dr. Mishra has taught us very nicely. They had cleared the basic anatomy complications and uh, Particularly experimental part, very wonderful to me to see, to see all inside the story of the animal or uh, human body. We are unfortunate to see the robotic surgery 
but uh, we think that next time when we'll come, then we'll see the robotic surgery. And uh, I wish a grand success to this World Operative Hospital for starting this uh, robotic surgery. May this institute become the number one in the world to start this uh, robotic surgery. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. James Kamau. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, one thing is that this is my second visit in India. I've come first last year in Mumbai at Beams Hospital uh, to learn a paroscopy with Dr. Rekha Sinai. <coughs> and this one thing I discovered when I came to this uh, World Paroscopic Hospital from Professor is that uh, happened that now when I came here, I'm going home having met my objectives. I can now go and still be able to perform in the kind of uh, even on my own. Thank you very much, Professor, and thank you, Chief Guest. The only thing me I would suggest is we are very many doctors from Africa. We are quite a group. Of, we are very many doctors from Kenya. Uh, and I think there is so many Kenyans who have come to in your school. You can wish, wish that you also, others can also be benefit. Why can't you open a branch in Africa to run a parascope? The same kind of model in Kenya. Thank you. My name is Suhail Bakal. I'm a general surgery resident in my third year. I also have a higher degree by research preliminary from the University of Western Australia. Well, uh, what I want to say basically is that they say that great men are those with great knowledge. But I personally think that great men are those with great knowledge and the will to teach others. And you, Dr. Mishra, are a great man. Dr. Mishra's knowledge, his patience, and his will to teach others has not only contributed to the advancement in laparoscopy in India, but also to the advancement of laparoscopy all over the world, represented by you, fellow doctors and what you will be contributing to your countries as well. So we thank you for everything that you have taught us. And I personally have also extended my stay in India to continue into the diploma course because of much of the benefit I had during the fellowship course. Uh, the beautiful thing about World Laparoscopy Hospital is that Dr. Mishra is actually not a single man, you know, like. He runs a family, not only a hospital. So there is Mr. Ranjan and uh, his crew. You know, they've been very helpful. Each and every person, one of them, they were very helpful to us in every way we needed them. And uh, they made our stay easier and more welcome. Uh, I have a recommendation, Dr. Mishra. You know, if I go back home and uh, I wouldn't find the words to describe how good you are as a teacher and how beneficial this course is. So you are too good to be true. So I could, if I could ask you to like uh, visit us in Jordan, we will like send you an invitation so that people there would see you know how you can contribute and maybe you can conduct a course there or like a meeting or a gathering. And thank you so much. Good evening everybody, I am Dr. Seema Sharma, working as a specialist in ESI Hospital, Gurgaon. Since last eight months, I was uh, doing laparoscopic surgery in the ESI Hospital, but, uh, but due to lack of the basic knowledge, I faced lots of problems uh, while doing surgeries. So uh, here uh, from the sir, Dr. R.K. Mishra, they taught us uh, very nicely the basic aspects of all the laparoscopic surgery and hysteroscopy. And uh, I thought uh, I was not facing the same problem again and again. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Respected Chief Guest Dr. Sai, Mrs. Sai, and Professor Misha, my dear colleagues, uh, pleasant evening to all of you. Uh, I am Dr. Manoj Gupta. I am a GI surgeon from Jammu. Uh, during my GI surgery training, I observe one thing that I am lacking something uh, that is the laparoscopic exposure because uh, at Sardangaram Hospital uh, we don't have any laparoscopic exposure during 
super specialty training. So, uh, I didn't realize the importance of laparoscopy till uh, the completion of my GSSG training. When I entered into practice, every patient is asking about laparoscopy. So, I started searching for, a, uh, for an institute that offers a complete laparoscopic course. So, I started uh, searching from the internet, my friends, and I came to know about this hospital called Laparoscopic Hospital. Uh, in the, initially, I was a little apprehensive that uh, will I be able to learn something from this course or not. At the end of uh, two weeks course, I am pretty confident that I can do laparoscopic surgery on my own and my patients. So it's really a great experience for me to learn uh, laparoscopy uh, uh, from this hospital. Regarding Dr. Mishra, he is a very sincere, hard-working, dedicated and disciplined person. And above all, as uh, Dr. Kasturi has told, he is a uh, great man uh, par excellence. So, in the end, I would like to thank you, uh, Dr. Mishra, uh, for, for giving me an opportunity to uh, attend this course. Uh, I would like to thank Mr. Ranjan and all other staff of World Laparoscopy Hospital and all my colleagues who supported me and helped me during this course. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Franz. I am from mm -hmm. Indonesia. Um, it's actually it's a, a great pleasure for me to be here. Uh, I've traveled about eight hours totally from Indonesia to reach India, and I've never really mentioned. And I don't know what to expect when I arrive in India. I mean, uh, India is such a big and vast country, and this is the first time I went. Uh, I come here, so I was a little bit confused, uh, uh, truthfully, when I first arrived here. But just on the first and second day, then because everybody is very welcome, and I have a great friend here, I feel at home. So, and in the course, uh, Professor Mitra is very kind and he explained everything that I asked, everything that everybody is asking uh, patiently. Uh, I think the, the power of the course is, it is structured, so we learn from the beginning. Um, I performed some of the laparoscopy surgery and I assisted some of the laparoscopy surgery, but Nobody can really uh, explain why do we do these things. We really, really know why every step is important and why it is uh, affecting our performance in other sports. There is the strength, I think, and that I cannot get from anywhere. I have, I have attended some of the university courses uh, in my country, and we go directly to animal sections, and it is not so good in, in my personal opinion because it is not providing us with the the basics of why and what should we do. Um, then uh, I really, really am grateful for everything that was uh, done for me and my friends, and I really will recommend your course in my country yeah. so more people could learn from you directly and more people could benefit from their uh, knowledge. Thank you very much. Good evening, our guests. Good evening, uh, Professor Misha. Uh, my name is Gary Solomon from South Africa, a gynecologist. Uh, prior to the course, I've been practicing a bit of laparoscopic surgery and I soon realized that I was getting to a point where I needed more, I needed more guidance and more uh, structured teaching which we have uh, all received there. The, the World Laparoscopic Hospital is a very appropriate name because as you look around, you see people from all parts of the world. And for me, I have got more than I ever bargained for. And I'd like to thank you for Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Secretary of Wisdom, and the renowned doctors in different countries of this world. I am Dr. Kazimahur Nasimu Chaman from Bangladesh. I am a gynecologist. I am working in a periphery level of hospital, 
that is a statistic level. There is no facility to do any laparoscopy. There is I do only cesarean section and uh, hysterectomy like this. I am very much interested to learn laparoscopy. But where I take my lab, then I search internet, then I send my email, they respond very quickly. I am very much astonished. I send a mail, return back to the give me results. I am very much pleased for this response. Before you send the mail here. <laughs> So I am very happy. Uh, there is a familiar environment, and uh, everyone uh, behaved me as a good colleagues, and uh, I feel very happy. I am very much grateful to Professor Bisro. Uh, I have uh, learned my basics, and uh, I think I do laparoscopy, and uh, he gave me very much, very much some small, small tricks. This is, I think, very much helpful for doing laparoscopy. So, thanks, uh, I'd like to thank Professor Mishra. Thanks everyone. And uh, I welcome you to my country for this <laughs> Myself, Dr. Manavita, I am a general surgeon coming from Chhattisgarh, working in a corporate company. This is last four or five years after doing my MS, I have been doing, uh, I work in Mission Hospital, there we do a lot of surgical work. So I have been doing all sorts of open surgery. And, uh, but for me, uh, I have assisted a lot through laparoscopy, but uh, I, I was always apprehensive that I will be, how I will be doing alone and all that. But this course, my wife, she is a gynecologist. We discuss a lot whether we should go for this or not. Finally, I found that course is very good. And I am confident now that I am going and starting my own. And regarding Mishra sir, he is a very good teacher. And he knows what the what you should know the next step. What the next step is. On first day only, he said that he will be starting from the basics. We have uh, gone through all the basic techniques about instrument, suturing and all that. This course is very helpful, sir. And after coming, I definitely said my wife said next month for this game. Thank you, sir. All protocols up. Um, my name is Dr. Kennedy Ondede Mudehade from Nairobi, Kenya. My first uh, message of thanks for the admission is to this is uh, Misra, <laughs> because she's one lady who has made sure that I came. I was supposed to be here last year for this training, but because of uh, sponsorship issues, I deferred the course to, to this year. I persisted and she kept encouraging me, and did everything to the very last minute, making sure that I got the scholarship, because she had to write a letter to my husband. We have not met personally all these two weeks I'm here, because Dr. Misha kept me very busy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I don't have any more words to add to what my colleagues have said because it tells by itself. And you can see already two Kenyans here. I'm the third one. There are more Kenyans who trained the year before and they're the ones who actually who encourage us to come over for this training. And right now, I can assure you, there is a competition for Kenyans to come for this training here. As a general surgeon, I have my take home messages. Apart from cook, look, cook, being a general surgeon, the abdomen is going to be my mainstay. So I, I want to keep on smiling, the smiling incision. <laughs> it never happened. Okay. When I got the gold bladder, Vanessa circus, up, down, up, down, always. Okay. And of course I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> I will never pull the tape. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, good evening, uh, Professor Nizar, only guests, and my newfound friends. My name is uh, Chidi Naidu. I come from a place which has the largest concentration of Indians outside of the motherland India, and that's in Durban, South Africa. 
I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist here at the Department of a Tertiary Training Hospital outside of Durban, about 90 kilometers. And my visit to India was twofold. It was my first visit to, to my motherland, and one was to visit uh, Thirupati Biology, which I did, and the other one was to improve my skills in laparoscopic surgery. I have been doing laparoscopy and hysteroscopy for some time, but I was a bit, uh, uh, I was a bit wanting in terms of suturing and knotting. And I must com uh, commend Dr. Mizzou, Professor Mizzou on a well-run course. It's, I think it's a, it's a substantial, extensive course and, and, and something which I would recommend to anybody who intends pursuing a career in obstetrics and gynecology or any of the surgical specialties for that matter. And in, in conclusion, I'd like to say, uh, besides look, book, and cook, in future I'll be telling my residents as well, book, look, and cook, or else you'll be cooked yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and members of the high table. I'm Dr. Dennis Alagwa from Nigeria, I'm a consultant gynecologist and also a lecturer. I got the information about World of Prosperity School from my colleagues in Nigeria. And all this while I've been wanting to be advance my knowledge in laparoscopy, but I was very apprehensive. I didn't know what I would get. I felt it was so difficult, but when I came to this place two weeks ago, and when the course began, and after some few days, I realized that what appeared to be very difficult, a great teacher had made it so easy and so simple. I told my colleague that came with me that we have spent two weeks, it's like we have spent two years. I'm so comfortable and confident that the minor procedures I could be able to do it in my country because my country, laparoscopic surgery is very, very rare and very remote. And I want to uh, also congratulate all the members of the World Laparoscopic Hospital, Mr. Ranjan, the drivers, everybody, even the attendants. They are so skillful and so knowledgeable that it's possible to bring them to my country to do laparoscopy for my people. <laughs> I'm confident about it. <laughs> they are so good. They teach you. Professor Mishra has imparted so much into them. And in two weeks, I'm a happy person. And I want to say that, like my colleague said, Professor Mishra should look for somebody or other people to join him so they can have some time to rest. Thank you so much, sir, for the opportunity we have. And I also thank you for the opportunity I have two weeks to come. I will be getting more knowledge and I'll be a better than I call it since I go back to Nigeria. Thank you so much. Good evening, all. I'm Dr. Kennedy Ngidiki. I'm a conductor of obstetrician gynecologist. I work in a teaching hospital in Nigeria. I'm also a lecturer. I came to India for the first time. Uh, my place, they say, a journey of a thousand mi uh, miles starts with a step. Uh, when I took the step to come to India, I didn't really know what I was going to expect. When you are dealing with women, the, the business of women is an issue where everybody wants to look beautiful. And looking beautiful depends on your scalp. And you are attending to them in the clinic and they come to see you and say, I want to look more beautiful after my surgery. And that is you're compelled to make, give them what they want. Yes, looking beautiful is one thing. Also, at the same time, we're teaching students, and um, as a lecturer, I really don't have much idea about the school, even during the, my fellowship training. So it became an issue, and I discussed with my colleague who is there, look, we need to move out. I asked some one or two of my colleagues who have been here before, and they said, look, there's a great teacher in India, and we need to come and see what is happening here. I said, what kind of great teacher will it be? Have I seen plenty of teachers? And I think I saw one. And I'm going to see more because I'm going to be here for the next two weeks. I, we have learned, I've learned so many things. And um, I must say that when the, first, the first time I came and asked us what our expectations are, I said I'm very green. I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm still green. I'm much, much uh, better. And uh, when I go back to Nigeria, I guess um, I will draw my apostles, all my disciples to this place. <laughs> 
Alright, so propagate the message that something great is happening here. Thank you very much. And at the same time, I won't forget to thank uh, the wife. In my place, he said, behind every successful man, there is a woman. And uh, if we don't thank her, I don't think we have got, done a great, great job. So we must thank her because she allowed you to come out and stay with us most of the time. I wonder whether he has any time for Lijo. Sometimes I'm really surprised about his energy, to be very frank. At, at his age, and even my own age, I don't think I can stand the stress. Thank you very much, everyone. Good evening, I'm Dr. Narita Maratha from Nepal, a small, beautiful country <coughs> by the side of India. I would like to invite her to visit Nepal. First of all, I'm a gynecologist working as an uh, associate professor in uh, one of the medical colleges in Kathmandu. Uh, if I talk about laparoscopy, we are very, very primitive in laparoscopy, limited only in the uh, diagnostic procedure. Uh, this time we, two of us uh, came together thinking that after going back from here, we, uh, we at least will be able to start laparoscopy in Nepal and Kathmandu. So Dr. Misra has arranged such a beautiful uh, program, such a arranged good, uh, uh, good, uh, good uh, program so that we learn something and uh, I have joined the diploma course. There is 15 days more to stay here for me. I hope I will be able to uh, start laparoscopy in Nepal. And another thing I would like to, I have one suggestion for Dr. Misra. Like he taught us to give a smile, uh, smile like uh, smiling uh, in season and he, he should also smile because he rarely smiles. <laughs> Hello, good evening everybody. I'm Dr. Roshan Gondal from Nepal and I, uh, she, as she's told you all people that we just came to help each other and Dr. Mishra, I want him to call in our country because there is no uh, seniors to help us so that we are, while we are doing, is there any mistakes or anything, I think that he will be controlling us for some time if he has time for the future. That. And as for inspiring here to come here, my husband he himself he inspired me a lot uh, from 2007. From some circumstances, I couldn't come, and I felt when I came here, I little bit felt that I uh, like uh, homesick. Like, but the environment of here and all the colleagues of all different countries, they made me so happy that I forget all. And my son, who is little bit uh, small, he is thinking that. My mother will be a big doctor, and so it is waiting for me. I'm here for one week, two week time for Egyptomatos. Thank you. Respected Dr. Mishra, Chief Guest, Mayor, and Dr. Sayyamusi Mishra. In fact, I was looking, uh, I'm basically a laparoscopic surgeon. Uh, I uh, was always thinking that I'm incomplete. Whenever I did some procedure, it was the most commonly we keep on doing the laparoscopic police like this. I think something is missing. People are doing so much, uh, but we are missing something. We are, I did so many workshops, hands on, and uh, f uh, many uh, operation uh, theater uh, sessions going on. Many, many. But still, I, was, uh, as a, I always thought that something is missing, and I need it. Then I started looking for a course, and I started surfing for it, and I came across the website of the World Episcopal Hospital. And before coming to this place, I was very apprehensive as to what the, uh, what the pains would be, so many senior persons would be, and uh, maybe I fit in the course. Uh, I, uh, one day I came to Mr. Ranjan, and I inquired that, uh, is there any uh, bar, anybody can come, what is the age limit? So all these, so many questions were in my mind. I tried to clear a few, and he welcomed. He told me that you're welcome, you can come anytime. So only last month I had come to Delhi, and I immediately, once I went to Jammu, I immediately decided that I'll go and join the course. So I, I tried to contact, and as uh, one of my colleagues rightly told, that uh, I immediately called uh, the reply. And I was looking, who is Mrs. Sarna? I never knew. So only just a few days before, I uh, I came to know, and she is madam, she is uh, respected uh, professor Miss, Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Mr. and madam, I am so grateful to you that I was all the time getting the prompt replies from your side. 
and uh, you encourage me immediately to come over all the way from this course. Now, once I joined this course, I found the people from all over the world. And I was feeling very, very comfortable that uh, not only the younger ones, the people from all age groups, they were there. So uh, it was again an encouraging point for me. Now, I wanted to add, it, add some uh, advanced procedures in laparoscopic surgery in my uh, operation list. So once I, uh, Dr. Mishra uh, asked me that uh, you want to start from where? What is your, you, you want to start the advanced or you want to start with basics? So I told him that, uh, yes, one day uh, during, my, uh, during our initial introduction, I told him that we are interested in studying the basics. So we started the basics and I feel I am totally a changed person. This is a magical course in fact. And uh, I think I will do uh, the diploma course as well, but uh, maybe uh, in a couple of months I will soon joining this course. And Professor Nusha, I am extremely grateful to you. You are a really wonderful man, wonderful teacher, and I have seen very few people like you in my lifetime. And I wish you a wonderful career. I see, I wish this laparoscopy hospital to be at the top of the world. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a real pleasure to be here, and I thank Dr. Mishra for inviting me to be present to meet all of you. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you a few anecdotes. First thing is that when we actually go to Gurgaon, I used to keep driving along on that road with where the World Laparoscopic Hospital is. And I used to ask my wife, because she's a gastroenterologist, so I say, "What kind of hospital is this?" Because having worked in in Delhi, in in Gurgaon. We never realized that there was a hospital, and I keep wondering where the patients come from here. We've been in Gurgaon for a long time. I've worked in major hospitals. And I used to keep thinking, who runs this hospital? Where do the patients come from? I haven't heard of this place. Then one fine day, Dr. Mishra walked into my clinic with his brother, and he had some medical problem. <coughs> and in the course of the discussion, he said, well, Dr. Shai, have you seen this hospital? I said, I have seen it from the outside. I don't know what goes on there. And he said, I'm the director of the hospital. So I said, well, uh, what do you do there? And he said, we, are, we train people for laparoscopic surgery. It's not easy to run training institutions in this country. I'm glad that all of you have actually only had positive things to say about this institution. When I was training, when I finished my cardiology training, most of us when we wanted to enter plastic, you have to actually travel to Europe or you have to travel to America. When we finished international training, nobody, we, would, we would assist a lot of procedures, but none of our professors would let us do a procedure on our own. And so you always had to sort of do bits and pieces of that and then try and hope that you could do a procedure. As luck would have it, both the senior guys from the department left to attend a conference. And so two of us who had just passed out were left behind the, in the institution. And then we had a patient come in who had chest pain. And we said, let's do an angiogram. And we did an angiogram. And we found there was a block. And we said, we must treat it. And that was the first time we said, OK, fine. We'll do it. We've seen it. We've assisted. And let's just do it. You can't imagine those were the days when stents were just starting into this. In, into, in, in, uh, I think it was 1995 when the first stents were coming into this country, and in fact in Europe. When we implanted the stent, everything was smooth and very fine. When we tried to withdraw you as a potential competitor. So it's like if I'm working with a senior, he's going to, I have to assist him, I have to train with him, but he is not going to teach me everything. For that, I have to go elsewhere. This happens universally. It happens in America, it happens in Europe. They will not teach their own people. When we travel to other places, because we are not going to practice there,